Well, as we continue on in rebuilding this two-seat buggy, the next step is to redo the two seats. If you haven't been following along, I'm putting all these videos into a playlist called the rebuilding of a two-seat buggy. And this, I think, is episode number eight, if I'm correct. So the back seat on this buggy is actually the original seat. It seems to fit this box correctly. The second seat does not, however. You can see that it is too narrow. Now this first seat that I put on, I actually do think is the original seat. And I'm thinking from the ironwork on this seat that it is a rear seat. And this will make more sense once we make some progress and get into actually building the top. So I'm going to get this all disassembled, get the ironwork all sandblast cleaned up. And once this is all apart, the intricate part of this is actually building the seat frame. And we're going to see that it's kind of a complicated corner joint on the seat frame.
Now the framework on this seat that does actually fit this box is somewhat a complicated corner joint incorporating a mortise and tenon in a corner angle. It's not a very simple joint, but I think we'll get her done and I hope you understand the process that I went through to get this joint work complete.
Well, a simple lap joint would have been much easier for a corner joint, and they are actually the most popular type of joint for a seat base. But this is not how this one was done, so this is why I went through this process to make this same mortise and tenon corner joint to match the old original. So I hope you enjoyed following along, and once again, thanks for watching.